let's create this model here using the function we just defined above and the input shape uh, will be the dimensions of our observation space that we obtained earlier in the code okay now let's prepare the input tensor of our state using uh, expand dims from k this is remember we imported it before uh, So model actor, let's uh, predict the action from the current state and uh, let's just uh, set the number of steps equal to one. Uh, this is just to signify that our batch has only uh, one example for which we want to uh, carry out the prediction. Now this should return a 21 dimensional action probability distribution. Uh, which corresponds to the 21 actions available to our agent uh, for this particular game environment. And now we can sample our action from this distribution. Uh, let's use numpy.random.choice and uh, p is the probability of sampling which comes from the actor model. So let's set that as action underscore dist. Okay, it looks like we need to import numpy. Let's just go up and uh, yeah, import numpy as np. Okay, next step. We need to convert our preferred action as a one hot encoding. Uh, this is so that we can use this uh, one hot encoding later on as our training label. So let's set the index of the sampled action or the action that we want to take based on the model's output uh, equals to one. Okay, uh, let's run this and see what we get. Um, it, it seems like there's a mistake. Uh, after a few minutes of searching, I found that the mistake is up in the uh, model definition function here. Uh, the input argument to the Keras model is inputs and it's uh, and not input underscore shape like uh, I had it up there. So just go ahead and change that to inputs. Okay, now that it's working, we can see the action coming from the actor model. So our image neural net is interacting with the environment now. We can move on to uh, implementing the critic model from here. So let's set Q underscore value. Equals to model critic dot predict. Uh, this is the same as the actor model. Let's uh, first define this model up here. So model critique equals to again, same as the actor model. Just just change the name from actor to critic here. Now, uh, structurally, the critique model is mostly the same as actor. So what we can do is we can just uh, copy all of this and uh, just make a couple of necessary modifications where required. Now, the critic model, remember, it spits out a real number indicating how good or bad uh, the action that the actor model took is. So it's like a feedback to the actor model asking it to improve its uh, weights in order to give out better actions as its predictions. So this is a real number. Uh, let's set the number of output neurons to one. 
and let's set the activation equals to tan h remember the output here is not a probability distribution but a real number so let's set it to tan h okay everything else here remains the same uh, now let's go down okay back here now we obtain the q value uh, which is a real number returned by the critic model now we can just record all of this information in the uh, list objects that we defined uh, before our loop here. Uh, first of all, let's define our mask as opposite of done. Uh, we'll see exactly where to use this later on. Right now just uh, make mask equals to not done. Okay, now we can append the states to our list. Let's also append the actions. We forgot to define a list for the one hot encoding uh, of actions. So let's just uh, quickly uh, define that. Okay, now we can append these here. Same for values. Uh, append the masks. Same thing with the reward. And uh, also the action probabilities. Now, uh, one important thing we uh, forgot last time, after every uh, iteration of the loop, we need to change the state uh, variable here to the new observation or the next state. Otherwise, we keep on using the same initial state as input to our models. Okay, now that uh, that's fixed, uh, we can try executing this and let's see if it all works. Okay, great. Uh, we can now see the actor and critic models interacting with the game and collecting a bunch of experiences. Once we take all 128 steps here, our experiences will be uh, recorded in the uh, list objects and they will be available to use later on for training our actor and critic models. Okay, uh, I hope you have been able to keep up so far. I'll wrap it up for this part. Uh, and next time we'll see how to use uh, the recorded experiences we collected in order to train and improve our uh, actor and critic models. So make sure you stick around for that and I'll see you next time.